Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. As you can tell from this face right behind me, what are you like, uh, Brad Pitt? This like Brad that. Pitt look alike. <laughs> Nick like Schmidt yes, from sir. Sunshine State RV. I watch Yellow Can I be Kevin Costner? Now you want to be Costner? I mean, I, I, you know. No, no you got to stick to one, one thing. Now I like you want to be Kevin Costner. Costner. Oh, okay, all right. I don't want to be ripped. I'm going to change this up every single day. <laughs> okay, so we're at Sunshine State RVs, of course. Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville, Florida. Number one in the state of Florida. Number three in the whole country <laughs> for Class B Absolutely. RV sales. Yes, and we are looking at one of my favorite, favorite Class Bs. This is a Coachman Beyond 22C built on a Ford Transit all-wheel drive chassis. Yes. I love these. You sound passionate. I love them. I love them. If it was rear bath, it will be just perfect. But. It's a 22C. We're yeah. going to get all into it right now yes. with Nick. What you got to say? Oh, I love nothing. <laughs> Let's do this. Say. Let's do this, Costner. Oh, so you want me to do yours? No. Okay, you want to do it? Go for it. We get all into this right now. Woo! All right, guys. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, ProMaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza, and we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. This is a 2023. Yes, right? Coachman Beyond, yep. 22C all-wheel drive, and this is a lithium model. Uh, lithium powers everything on the coach. You know, what's really cool about this is this is like the holy grail of Coachman products, of just Class Bs that we sell. We never, ever get these in that are not pre-sold <laughs> that are not pre-sold or any uh, that are not spoken for yep. that are just a bit i mean it's been years since we've been able to get one in and actually have enough time with it here yeah. to do a video on a 22c right. well because ford transit all-wheel drive very coveted very coveted and the coachman beyond coachman to that. and i yeah it's just quality on top of right. quality and i'm and biased with coachman as you know you oh yes yeah, so you are coachman brand ambassador yes. look at that look at congratulations this face Congratulations. <laughs> thank and you. Sunshine thank you. State RV's brand ambassador, Coachman. I it's know, like, man. Are you double dipping? What's happening in the world? Are you double dipping? It's a good here? combo. It's a good combo. Good combo. Sometimes, I like it. Sometimes like you got to rock yeah. with it. Great combination. <laughs> yes. We love Coachman. We love yep. Hank. Hank loves Coachman and and, yeah, and all. I, so I, I love Sunshine State RV too. You can, don't tell anyone I said that, but I love you guys too. The higher ups at uh -huh. Coachman uh, determined that you bring value and your channel's uh, the, uh, great for them. So yeah. they asked you to be an ambassador and, you know, I think it's going to be a good fit. Yeah, listen, like you say, uh, you know, not every van's perfect for everyone, no. but I think it is a safe bet to go with Coachman, in my opinion, right? They've got great build quality and all that kind of good stuff, but they care about you after you buy that thing. They care about your experience yeah. with it. I, so, I mean, really and I represent important. a lot of companies, mm -hmm. um, you know, Winnebago, mm -hmm. American Coach, Road yes. Trek, Coachman, uh -huh. Dynamax. I, you know, I have personal relationships with all of them. The I best do, one is Coachman. I, <laughs> I do like Coachman a lot. I like the, the employees. They're the best. <laughs> I like I like what they build. I like what they do. That, you know, there's yes. a few things I really like about them, and we're mm -hmm. gonna get into it. So this yeah. is the Beyond. Um, this is the one that you have. This is how me and Hank met. Yeah. Over, uh, just over beyond. I mean, yeah. you just walked and, and in, you bought one, and that's it. So. And you know, I didn't even like look at a whole bunch hey, of stuff. I jumped right in, and I'm happy. Right. I know it's raining, but here's the thing. So we're probably gonna like jump right in and then do the come outside Let's with do this because it's raining. But you know what? This is a really safe bet. You really cannot go wrong. Even if this doesn't work out for you, it's gonna have a high value because of what it is and there's all right? not a lot of them out there yeah but, let's you know, start inside Nick. so yeah let's that's a great idea let's roll yeah cloudy skies in florida wow april showers what did you do april showers bring may flowers is that what they say 
Okay, you're asking me on that that's one. What, I think that's what they say, isn't it? Okay, it sounds familiar. April showers bring May flowers. So, we are in the cockpit. This is a 2023 mm -hmm. Coachman Beyond 22C. So, the 22 stands for 22 feet. They make a Nova, which mm -hmm. is on the Pro Master chassis. That's 20 feet. Mm -hmm. Beyond's 22 feet. Galleria's 24 feet. Is so, this a LI3? On this of? one is an LI3. Sweet. But what I really like is 20 feet Nova, 22 feet, and 24. Mm -hmm. Any any size that you want. Yeah. They make. So all three of the sizes of the traditional Class Bs. They use the ProMaster chassis, Ford, and Mercedes. They so use mm -hmm. all the popular chassis. But what's really cool is, you know, like I said, we sell for a lot of different companies. There's a lot of uh, junk ERVs out there that we refuse to represent. Mm -hmm. But when you get into those brands of RVs, you look at their bigger Mercedes-style RVs, and they use a different quality of stuff than in their uh, smaller ProMaster RVs. Okay. Different quality of batteries, lithium, cabinetry, all that. Mm -hmm. One thing that Coachman has has stayed true to throughout the their consistency of all three consistency of the, of the quality coach build. of the inside build. So yeah. same lithium, same toilet, same fridges, same beautiful Amish built cabinetry, same insulation, uh, leather seats, the Q foam, everything they do, they are consistent through all of their coaches, which is great. Yeah. Um, because so, it's not like you're buying a diminished product mm -hmm. when you buy a Nova versus a Galleria because the Galleria is 24 foot and the Nova is only 20. Yeah. So it comes down to what size you're looking for. Exactly. The Nova would be your smaller and then obviously 20 foot. the Galleria, they only do the uh, 170 foot. extended. They only do yeah. the longest Mercedes. So, um, you know, my question to you would be who buys the beyonds the most being right in the middle of the pack right yeah who, so who's looking for so that? people really like the ford transit people who are ford guys mm -hmm. ford people that like ford somebody that wants something that's not too small but not too big someone mm -hmm. that's right in the middle some people mm -hmm. really like that all-wheel drive yes all -wheel great drive. Dualies. dualies so you, yes. the, the mercedes has a dually but it's 24 feet if mm -hmm. you want a dually on a 22 foot then you could drive this, this like good. a car, Nick. Hundred percent. Right. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is that. You have two of these now. Yes, I do. You have a uh, electric, an electric e transit, e transit, and <laughs> and the beyond, the beyond rear bath model, all yes. wheel drive. So yes, you have. Is the e transit all wheel drive? No, no, it's rear wheel drive. Okay, it's rear wheel. They don't have all wheel drive as an option yet, gotcha. and it doesn't have the range, obviously, of something like this. That's true. You know, uh, it's about 120 miles. If you're good, if you're me, it's like maybe 110. <laughs> Why do you run ski? A little I, scared. I, I drive kind of fast. Oh, fa oh, yeah. okay. So fast you drive. Yeah, I burn that battery fast. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's funny. So this, so, so really, you know, this to me is really like an all rounder of what. Yeah. You're so, the, so this is Best great because yeah. two people can camp in it. And be very comfortable, mm -hmm. but there are three seat belts back there yes. on that couch. The, the okay. C stands for comfortable couch. Yeah, it should be called twenty two CC. Is that what the C stands for? Comfortable. Okay. Or couch. Okay. Probably couch. Sure. <laughs> I'm not even. Gonna... But they should call it the twenty two CC. Right. The twenty two comfortable <laughs> couch. Okay. Right. All right. Why wouldn't they? Uh, I have no idea. Hey, Coachman, this they, is now the 22cc. Yeah. The 22 comfortable couch. Yeah, you won't hear about that one at all. Tell us about the upfront here. This oh, does we're up have, front right now. This has some so, improvements here, I've noticed. So yeah, so so very neat. A lot of safety features, a lot of cool things. So you got this huge screen. I think this is 9 or 10 inches. Mm -hmm. um, and it has everything on it, right? So you yeah, got navigation cool. here. You got satellite radio. You got AM, FM, the air conditioner. Press yeah. a little home button. And you can Built change change the way the screen looks. You can oh, change you know, features, different apps. Yeah. Apple CarPlay. Yep. Um, so well, you have to add a phone first here on here, and here's your features and stuff like that. You can go through drive modes. So got normal oh, eco slippery tow hold. Where is that? Ruts. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. That looks like a sim world. Right. Or something. This is really easy, by the way, to connect to Android or Apple, and you can press your camera. Ooh. Oh, I like this. 360. Yeah, it's got the bird's eye view on is there. Is there a little drone That's following nice. you around? Uh, is that <laughs> no. what this one's? And this is this button right here is for the park assist. See that? So if you want to, you know, turn neat. your park assist on and off, you can use. Yeah, this is great. And you know what I like? So the car I drive has a screen like this, mm -hmm. but to do the, the the air conditioner, you have to go to a screen to change the AC. Here, it's just always right yeah, there. Or you can hit the temperature. So if you, let's say you want to go up. Are you a fan guy or a temperature guy? 
fan. Some people just oh. mess with the fan and leave the temperature the same. Oh. Some people just operate on the temperature and then and I like they, it, they I let like, the temperature control. No, I like the fan. a specific temperature. I'm very controlled. Eh, I'm like a fan guy. Yeah, I, I want it to be specifically I, 78 so, degrees. So I keep this on 60 all the time <laughs> and I just control yeah. my fan. There keep, should be a slider. I keep of this it on too. low. I don't know if this has the slider or it doesn't, but so, yeah. it should be a slider. I think if you're in auto, it does that. Oh, what are these? Different camera. Oh, look yeah, at that. Look around. Oh, that's nice. But there's a lot of there's a lot of features. So I think this has probably Sync Five. I'm gonna say, is this a 2022? Yes. Um, transit. Yeah. How do I get back to the really other nice? Screen? If you want to go back, you would just press this again. Oh, there we go. And then you would go back. Um, this is really cool. So you've got a USB right USB. there, regular 12 volt. You've you got, got a USB C volt. up here. You do, and then you and have the, the adaptive cruise control. Yeah. So that button right there shows you yep. have adaptive, adaptive cruise, which is awesome. Which is they all have. Yep. It comes with remote start. So this little thing oh, right is here. That? Yeah, okay. Remote start. remote start. So you press. You have to press like lock. Unlock, lock, mm -hmm. and then the thing. And you could also use your app. There's a Ford app for this that you can use. Yeah. So. And the then is, is cup good, holder. Actually. So there's a cup holder up here. There's one here. There's two here. Mm -hmm. Cup holders everywhere. So and, and then um, I know Coachman changes these seats because typically, they like, so in that e-transit, you get the regular seats. Oh, I wonder if you can get Coach now that you're the brand ambassador. <laughs> if you can get Coachman to give I you these the seats. Way, Nick. These seats do not come super comfortable like this. Oh, that'd be a factory. good idea. We should ask Coachman to, to uh, ship you some, some oh, water, yeah, sure. Whataburger seats. Yeah, oh, I love it. Just send me black. <laughs> yeah, oh. but these are good seats, man. Look, it's got really nice cushioning yeah. and everything in there. It's got an armrest. Both of them have an armrest, including this one. And they both swivel. Shift a little bit, Nick. So right behind you, yeah. So I'm, oh, I'm sitting in the swivel. passenger one right now. They both swivel. This one yeah. swivels as well. Um, there is an area for a table right here. Yep. So you just kind of put this in here, put that there, and the table here kind of goes right on top of it. Yep. So lots of, of cool space for this. I like how they did this fan, I've noticed, has these thinner, uh, narrower tables, which I think are nice. They can fit in more places and yep. do more, you know. Yeah. That's very that's very cool. But I think, I like that. and there's a little pocket behind here as well. Yeah. So what's back here? Oh, okay. So I like how yeah, they trimmed so out that pocket, a, huh? Yeah, you could put tablets or magazines, I guess, maps. You put a road map? You could. Who uses that stuff? I'm nowadays? just saying, people do, hang yeah. it. Old school, you know. You would, you would be surprised. You never know, man. You get hit with an EMP and then your phones don't work. You got to know where you're at. What's an EMP? EMP, electromagnetic pulse. You know. What is it like? A, it shuts everything down. That's like, like a, a conspiracy apocalypse theorist? scenario. Oh my gosh. Are you a conspiracy theorist? <laughs> I'm a prepper for sure. <laughs> I'm always prepped for stuff. Always prepped. Yeah, do you I have, like, a, do you have I a Snickers think. bar on you? I'm a little hungry. Oh, well, no. Oh, dude, I, I mean, no. who's prepped? If you don't have food, you're not really prepped. Not here. I don't have it here. Um, I don't have so it with me right I, now. Both these seats swivel, so you can face the back. You, mm -hmm. you can kind of have an area, you know, when 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 i camp with my wife she mm -hmm. likes to sleep in i like to get up a little earlier read the, read the ipad or the paper mm -hmm. and so she can be sleeping there i can come here drink coffee whatever it is lots of there's another excuse you me. look like you need some coffee right now you ain't lying i just say you're too comfortable in that seat you made you come came on. during Let's get lunch going here. you came during lunch okay and we ate a big lunch i together. can't believe i have to crack the whip come on <laughs> So I was Let's explaining <laughs> that I sit up here and, and I drink my coffee while my uh -huh. wife sleeps in the back. Right, okay. That's what I was explaining. Understood. Now, show us what else we got oh. here. There's a bunch of switches Aren't right you here. my ambassador? I'm, I'm not your ambassador. How does this work? <laughs> I'm doing this for the people. <laughs> this is the uh, pizza. The people out there telling me, get Nick moving. This is the pizza oven. Let's see so if there we can is, get this to... Uh, there is storage. There go. Boom, yeah. There is storage in here. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not huge, it's not a ton, but it's good enough. Mm -hmm. Let's turn this off. Why, no, let's leave this on. So, mm -hmm. this is really neat, and I think everybody appreciates more information. So when you're dealing with, I feel like that camera's really close to No, me. you're good. There when you go. you're dealing with, with uh, lithium, <laughs> the, the, the more <laughs> information, the more information yeah. you can have when you're dealing with your lithium system, the better. So, yeah. let me give you a rundown. So this is the Li3 model. So it has a lithionics, 
630 amp hour battery. Yep. It has a 3000 watt inverter, mm -hmm. 300 plus watts of solar on the roof, and an underhood generator. Good. All that whole system works together to power your air conditioner, your microwave, your fridge, your lights, your stove, your toilet, everything on this coach, that system works together to power it. The number one question that everybody asks is what, Hank? Hmm? Hmm? If it's enough power or how enough, long how, oh, how can many, it how, power yeah. it? How many depends on how many amp I'm hours glad you know. asked no, that I question, that Hank. Question. <laughs> how long can you power everything? Well, you uh -oh. can power everything for depending on what you're using, mm -hmm. but typically six to eight hours. Mm -hmm. So the next if most you're running popular, your AC, the next most popular control. question is how do I know when it's about to die? Yeah. So Lithionics and Coachman together answered that question. Yeah, so is this on this, this. Yeah. what else Lithionics is cool battery. is there is an app, and I will show you LI3 app. So this is the RV we are in. So it is currently connecting, and it is showing us what it's doing. So right now the house is charging. Mm -hmm. So you see that very cool information here. Yeah. But check this on. out. So right now we're at a hundred percent. As I move through this. You see there's, it says zero right there. That is because we are fully charged. If we were at 98%, that would tell me how long mm -hmm. it has to charge it. And then you say, well, Nick, how do I charge it? Mm -hmm. And I said, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. You run the engine, your solar panels, or you're plugged into shore power. Mm -hmm. So we are currently running the engine. Mm -hmm. So that is that is what is charging it now. So you can theoretically go so, in it, it, like um, without end here until your gas tank runs out. <laughs> so now I have the keys. Yeah, now it just dropped. So now it dropped to what? Um, I'm looking through the camera lens here. A day and an hour, two hours. It's 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 a. So my thing here is telling me to stand by because it's figuring mm -hmm. out how long it's going to take. So right now, nothing is really on. It says it can run for one day. 55 hours mm -hmm. or one day one hour 55 minutes mm -hmm. so the ac yeah. is on i wonder if the compressor is on so let's see so we're on cool and this is a we'll get to it but this is a really nice ac we will get to it in a second here. there you go so now it's on high full blast. so now we just dropped some more so we have 20 we lost the day 20 hours of runtime currently. Mm -hmm. I do not feel like the compressor has kicked on because mm -hmm. when it, and it's not, it's not hot. It's not hot at all it's outside. It's not hot because it's cloudy and raining and Correct. all that. So, so what, that's that's all the variables that go into how long. So now use this thing. I just turned it on low. Now we're at one day, two hours. Mm -hmm. But in typically this will say eight hours. Right. With a fully charged battery, running, sun up. running that, sun up, mm -hmm. compressors on, and it's cool in this coach. It's going to say eight, eight hours or so. So let's use this in a real life scenario. You're going to Cracker Barrel, you're going to eat somewhere, mm -hmm. and you want to leave your dog in, in the RV. Mm -hmm. You say, okay, this thing says I have eight hours. Let me go eat lunch, I come back, and I know I'm good for an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, and so, you don't have to run the engine. You don't have to run the engine? Yeah. Keys are in my hand, yep. every light is on, AC yeah. is on, we are not plugged in, everything is running. The, oh, it's okay, it just got lowered now. Yeah, it's, I think I just compressor, it kick in. Compressor now just kicked it's on. at six. So now we're at six and a half hours, the fridge is on, every yep. light is on, and the compressor just turned yeah. on. And we're at almost seven, so it's funny, it's going up, because right now it's kind of re- the batteries are kind of leveling out mm -hmm. and it's adjusting. So it's going to end up around that seven or eight hour mark. Yeah. But like you wouldn't need lights on. You wouldn't need the fridge on. I mean, maybe you would. Yeah, I think I heard that compressor even kick off again. I mean, there's no way that compressor would stay on with this. Like, we're cool in here right now. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just, it's cool as a cucumber, right? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I mean, I think this is so, great. So mm -hmm. this can also, like I said on my app, this can show... All of this information is here on the app. So, mm -hmm. so you connect to the coach, and it shows you time remaining. It's red. So, the, can you see that? So, the mm -hmm. red right there shows you seven hours until your battery dies. Mm -hmm. It's showing you currently. You're, I'm using 88 amps. Mm -hmm. I'm using 1.2 kilowatts of power. Mm -hmm. 13. So, everything is on here, and it's showing what it is. Mm -hmm. The temperature of the battery and I'm still at 100%. Mm -hmm. So what's cool is once I start the engine up, 
that red number is going to turn to green and it's going to show how long until the battery is charged. Mm -hmm. So if you got a question of, man, how long do I have to run my engine until my battery's charged? Stick it in there, read the, the meter on your phone or read it mm -hmm. on, on this display here and it'll tell you once you're fully charged, then it'll tell you go. you're fully charged. Yeah, shut it off. So phenomenal lithium system. Coachman, yeah. Coachman truly has developed one of the top, if not the top lithium system in a class B or B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Lithionics is really good. Uh, you they, guys should check out a video that we have. We did a uh, video we on did. Lithionics. We did. Yeah. So this one has 630 amp hours. Mm -hmm. Because this is the 22C model, we have a we have a way to double your lithium capacity to 1260 amp hours. You see that quick math? Yeah, look at that. 630 yeah. to 1260. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's nice. Can you triple it? Uh, I mean, I can do anything you want. <laughs> yeah, but you, we have lose some space. <laughs> up until now, we have only doubled double, it, and we and we can do it pretty easily. I, I um, challenge someone to go triple out there. I I am convincing <laughs> the factory to to do the Hank Strange special and oh, nice. <laughs> and send us some that are already doubled from the factory. Yeah, a, a nice rear bath. <laughs> How cool would that be? A rear that bath. Would, yeah. Twelve hundred amp hours of lithium. Oh, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So. That's cool. What they, are these, uh, they do offer right a, a generator model as well, Hank. Um, yes, because I've got that. Lithium mm -hmm. is not for everybody, so mm -hmm. they do offer a, a generator, and it's mm -hmm. an ultra quiet, the the quiet Onan generator. You can barely hear it. It is state park approved, to where you can be in a state park running that generator. You're not going to disturb uh, Smokey the Bear mm -hmm. or or any of the animals, mm -hmm. um, and you can run it all the time, no issues at all, because it is so quiet. Yeah. So this here turns your propane on. Uh, there are there's a fresh tank, tank heater. Tank. There's a gray tank heater. There is Wi-Fi cool. built in. So a lot of people mm -hmm. real popular right now to work from the road, to live in one of these, and and be working. If you have a internet based job where you can work remote, there's Wi-Fi built into the coach. No matter where you're at, as long as it, it has a signal, which is an antenna mm -hmm. on the roof, you mm -hmm. have Wi-Fi built in, which is really cool. And I heard that um, they're going to be doing like I see. There's a lot of switches here, and you do have a panel as well. But there's folks out there who like all switches. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a fan of the panels, but I get why you would want to do switches because then you've got redundancy. Correct. Right? Yeah. Built into that in case something happens with the panel. Yeah. Or, and so there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's there's talks about all different types of stuff. Yeah. Um, so you have a Xantrax with uh, the inverter. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your Truma Combi system, which I think is a phenomenal system. Mm -hmm. This does your your heater. Mm -hmm. This also does your hot water heater. Yep. Um, on the coach. So we're gonna turn it off because we do not need it. Yeah, on. you don't want that to run. And if you want it to shut off, make sure like to make sure it's off, press and hold. And in a couple of seconds you'll see the whole thing just shut down. I bet like you could do that. a walkthrough on this RV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably. So solar, uh, turn it on and off. This uh -huh. is your solar um, manager here, so you see kind of where your batteries yep. are what and are we you can make sure right that now? it is thirteen volts. Even make though it's sure cloudy. Make sure that it's charging. Yeah. This is the main battery disconnect in the coach. So mm -hmm. when you leave the coach, when you want to shut everything down, just put it on store rather mm -hmm. than use and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And this is the Firefly system. So there is an app for this on the phone as well. Mm -hmm. So this is the home screen here. So you have your lights on, lights off. You can do your awning, air conditioner, mm -hmm. all your tank um, readings there as well. And you go to lights, you can do individual lights. Mm -hmm. You can do just the air conditioner. Oh, can you hit so, dehumid? Can so this has a built-in oh, cool. dehumidifier yeah. um, that, that you can turn That's it on nice. and it just kind of keeps it fresh in here. Yeah. It also has nighttime mode, so it's really quiet right now. Uh, this so is the Truma Aventi air conditioner, yeah. and we'll talk about it as we get to the back. Yeah. But there's a dehumidifier mode, which most ACs don't have, and a nighttime mode. So yeah. See, it's saying Truma furnace is disconnected. That's because we shut everything off just now. That's correct. She so got high medium and low on the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. And we're at six hours and 59 minutes. So in the last five minutes, we, oh, we're back to, uh, so as we're talking, you can see that yeah. kind of going down from seven hours. I mean, hours it is variable, minutes. yeah. It is variable. Yeah. yeah. But if you need to go eat and you want to leave your dogs in here, no problem. More than enough time. Let you me want? switch this way with you. Um, there is a big sliding door here and we'll, we'll show that when we go outside, but nice big door view. A view here as well, and oh, nice screen door. Like I like that. these screens. My screen's a little bit different. This one is, I think, beefier. Very nice. I like that. That's something I appreciate as a as an owner. 
I know you that are things get upgraded. Owner. That's what one of the things I like about Coachman is. So as a model is going on and they find out, oh, let, those screens, you know, we don't really like them. We'll put better screens in there. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing. It's kind of like rolling improvements. And everything I see, totally honest, from a lot of, the, from especially Coachman, some of the mm -hmm. other ones we deal with, they're just making it better. They're not trying to find ways to save money, mm -hmm. uh, because everyone knows the price of these things every year has been going up. Yeah, they're they're finding ways to make their be better. Most of the people that are buying these are not asking for them to be cheaper. They're asking for them to be better. Yeah. So obviously there are people, I mean, like, I, yes, I want everything cheaper. I want my gas cheaper. I want my cars cheaper. I I want, yeah. But can can you make it better for an extra hundred bucks? I I mean, if you told me for an extra hundred dollars, I can have a bigger, better, beefier screen. I'm spending a yeah. hundred plus thousand on this RV. Yeah. Yes. And it makes a difference. Like this screen, you can even stop this in the middle. Like mine will, will go back. Right, you know, and so you can take it to where you want it, and yeah, it's just as more a, solid. As the brand deal. ambassador, you might need the latest <laughs> and the greatest screen, uh, Hank. You know, someone I, I'm suffering for I the think, people. This I think I need I to talk it, to my people. I'm like Coach Gandhi, Man. you know, I'm Indian, right? So I'm like the Gandhi of vans, Gan uh, not the Dalai Lama, right? Yeah, no, 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 not at all, sir. Not, not at all. We won't even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I always so, bring up controversial things, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you start the trouble and then I get in trouble for it. What's your channel, Every, not mine? Everyone blames me, I know. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you don't know. So, there okay. is, right here, uh -huh. there is a owner's manual that is on your app. It's a mobile app that's an owner's manual. Mm -hmm. They also do give you some books and lithium, uh, lithium mix gives you yeah. some books as well, which is nice. This is the mm -hmm. Wi-Fi Ranger, so this is the device here that gives you internet. So you're okay. Gonna, you're gonna hook your SIM card, your little jet pack up to it, and there's an antenna on the roof, and you have internet everywhere you go. Okay. So cool. very convenient, very nice. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier, these Amish built cabinets, I just yeah. love these things. Yeah. I mean, real wood, real cabinets, dovetails. I mean, everything you can imagine about RV cabinetry. Yeah. So this I've got um, I've got forty five thousand miles on my van. Wow, and you need we, to trade it in. We're gonna do a video you to talk about. It. <laughs> we're gonna talk about the stuff, but the cabinets are one place that we don't have any. There's no issues. Wow. These cabinets are solid, man. I, I, That's pretty those impressive. Forty five thousand fast miles. You don't drive Lots slow. Of bumps. <laughs> you don't drive slow. You're yeah, saying. sometimes I've gotten air. No, you haven't. Lo, lo, so Lola didn't believe that, and she was driving with me the other day to South Carolina. I came off and she was the like, ground. Look what happened right there? I was like, I told you, we get air. <laughs> don't uh, don't let. But uh, my cabinets are good, Nick. Don't let the guys at Coachman know that because when you have a warranty claim on your cabinets or oh, something, okay, they're gonna say, remember at minute number eighteen on that one video, you said no, you, you got air. It. You didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the bathroom. There will be a disclaimer. So, um, so how many different beyonds are there? So, so I have the rear bath. There's a rear bath. There's mm -hmm. a C, a D, and a rear bath. C, so the C, the C C we're gonna call now the comfy couch. Right. And then there's the D, which is the D D, the double dinette. Okay. So, so those both have a side bathroom like this. Yes. Right? The okay. rear bath, which is your model, mm -hmm. does not. Yeah. So let's look at some things, and I so, do have a video I put up, uh, like a short um, that I did with Coachman about this. Your your hands are right now, and one of the things I like, Nick, look at that sink. Look at it. Pretty, you know, that seems a little bit more fancy. Nice. I'm using the nice shower thing. miser, yeah, which is cool. Yeah. Look at this thing. Yep. It is a water saving system. Mm -hmm. It increases the fresh and gray t tank capacities forty percent. Right. <laughs> Look at no, this. That's cool. yeah. Is this not the most impressive diagram? Mm -hmm. Yes, you have ever seen. But that's a good thing to have, man. Water and conserving water in these vans very important. Oh, batteries, water, yeah. space, all of it is at a premium in these vans. Yes, and then so anyway, you always want more with less. If that makes sense. Yeah. Right. That that's that's sure. what you're looking for in here. So anything like that helps. And, I, and I'm glad, you know, you know they're, they're doing you know, it's some, funny. some we were, cool things around. We were just talking to a guy at the mm -hmm. dealership, uh, this guy mm -hmm. Danny, who was who is uh, looking at a Beyond, looking at this exact Beyond. Mm -hmm. He currently has a Tiffin Allegro Class A, mm -hmm. big big bus. And he says the, the hardest thing for him to do is to go from his big, huge shower bathroom and all that down to a class a B, B and then, bathroom. And then I think they're kind of worried and, about that. And, and, and they are worried about it. When mm -hmm. I'm six foot tall, 238 mm -hmm. pounds, mm -hmm. and I will tell you that I fit very well. And the same thing I told Danny when I was just mm -hmm. talking to him is that is this the same as at his house or in his class A? No. No. But there's a lot of space in here. Mm -hmm. For being what it is, you got a separate sink. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of space, and this sink's a little bigger than even past sinks. Is and yeah, and so 
there is space. There's a nice high end shower head, so it's not gonna like yeah. dripple little yeah. by little on you. Like the thing with a you're gonna get some water pressure. Yeah. And size wise, I mean, shut that door. Yeah. Listen, in a Class B van, you know, I look at the overlanding vans. You yeah. know what what kind of luxury this is for an overlander? <laughs> you don't get you don't I mean, get you don't get an actual toilet in a lot of overlanders. No. You don't get an and, actual shower. And I'm comfortable as can be. And, yeah. I mean I can sit here for a solid four or five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's too long. <laughs> you need to do like two minutes and be in and out. But listen, I've there's a video we did with a couple that had a Mitsubishi Delica. Uh, and they uh, made it into they made it into their own camper, right? It's a van. And you know, is that on the YouTube you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's on Stranger Palooza. You know how those guys shower? How they take the kitchen sink and put it out the window. <laughs> oh, the, the the hose? Yeah, that's how they shower. They get yes. naked? Yeah, huh? A couple. Right. Yep. Uh, and uh, you know what? This is luxury. This is luxury. Hundred percent. Everything in life is perspective. You got your own mirror here. Yeah. So I will say to Danny and his Tiffin, and to everybody else that is watching, that this is a good size bathroom. Yeah, if you want smaller, lighter weight, like more it. maneuverable, and uh, cheaper, because this is gas, oh, right, yeah. than your Class A, then this is one of the sacrifices you're going to so make. So you got, but, you you got know, a towel hook back there. Yeah. Well, that was pretty nice. Get this out of the way. You yeah. know, so there's there's all different types of things you can put here, a bar, so you can hang stuff on. So people yeah. use this for different yeah. reasons. but. But if I really you want to be comfortable, if you want to be comfortable in a beyond in the bathroom, then just get the rear bath. That's where you need yeah. to go. But if you want the bathroom and then you want some of these other features, because you won't get like you're standing in a big fridge. That's big. not in a rear bath, right? Because mine not. is smaller. Yeah. There's a smaller. Mm -hmm. The C and the D both have this big fridge. Yeah. So a big fridge here. This nice. is an electric only. It's a compressor fridge. Right. So it's not like the old traditional fridges that run on propane and AC mm -hmm. DC this is just a straight compressor fridge yep. really easy to use volt. it'll run all the time so so nice nice big freezer two separate sections so the top mm -hmm. section you put ice in yeah you put cool. Ben and Jerry's ice cream encrustables encrustables are the best RV snack that there is you put them in the freezer um, when you're ready pull them out let them thaw eat it 15 minutes later yeah. phenomenal so my favorite way. snack so what's in this is this just a regular microwave this here? is a microwave so you can microwave things so people call it a radar range other people call it a uh, microwave. Yeah. Crazy um, how that is. You're going past the max fan. Oh, max my bad. So there's a remote on the wall yes. right here. Right here. Right there. So there's a remote the for max the max fan. fan. Which we can you turn it on. Ooh. Look at that. And it gets, it, it opens up. You act like you've done this before. Yeah. Oh, I love the max fan on my my thing man on a nice day like this you don't need to run your ac really. so so that's a lot of the power management hank yeah. is is that you don't need to run the air conditioner mm -hmm. you run the fans you open the windows yep. and and you don't use the battery speaking i can see the batteries from here six hours and 45 mm -hmm. minutes now mm -hmm. so it, it, it's going down at a reasonable rate it's not dropping it's not plummeting mm -hmm. it's going down at a reasonable rate so yeah so Can you uh, show off all the cabinet? We're going to go through the cabinets now. All the cabinets. You're Open the same every cabinet. One by one. Every cabinet. Boom. There you go. All right. Nice. Close those. Close those. Oh, yes, go. sir. You're doing good, Nick. We'll, we'll keep you on. Uh, Can I be your <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> there you go. Garbage can. So, a lot of a lot of RVs don't have a place for this where it is very important. I watched a special, like a documentary the other day on a family that committed to having no trash for a year, they're gonna reuse everything and find ways to compost and all that. No trash. Okay, that takes commitment. It does. I wonder if you can yeah. do it in the RV. We put a compost toilet in an RV one time. I've yeah. Listen, I have a video coming out of a guy. Do you remember you said that um, people want bidets? Yeah. We got a bidet. We got no, a bidet. No I mean, way. There's gonna be a video of a dude with a bidet. Yeah, well, but it's the big the question is: Is it cold water or hot water? I don't know. I didn't use it. <laughs> they didn't let you use it? No. Dude, how are you going to do a real video without using it? My next van, you're putting in a bidet. You got no excuses now. Okay, we didn't go I'll put into in, this one. That's I'll put like in a, a uh, cold water bidet for you. How's that? <laughs> no. Um, so, uh, yeah, nice pull here. here. That's cool. To hang things, it's like a wardrobe. So you can take these shelves out. You can add more shelves. Mm -hmm. Everybody uses these RVs for something different. Mm -hmm. And so, depending on what you want, you, mm -hmm. you might want more shelves. You might want less. You might want no shelves in there. Yeah. So... Very, very easy. Cool. Can you open up all these cabinets oh here? We're sticking goodness, with cabinets, hey. Nick. 
every single cat. Yeah, see, this is for Lola. Lola told me I should boss you around in the next video. Oh, so you geez. go, you go. <laughs> you didn't actually say that. Let's so have a moment of silence for the right. Jensen radio. <laughs> Let's figure there out why go. in the world. So there you go. You got a radio in here, but you, but you know, with all these cabinets, this is a lot of storage here. You got a lot of storage, including you could put some like uh, devices up here, even though you've got your control panel. Oh, in yeah. There. I mean, so that's, well, that's, that's just a Wi-Fi Ranger. So yeah, this is like I said, the comfy couch. Man, this is comfy. Yeah, this is nice. It's a nice cushioning that they're. Oh using. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So really cool. Comfy couch, 24 inch TV. LG smart TV. You got another Firefly back here, so there's two of them. Yep. This has all the same controls. You can also do it from your phone, but this has all the same controls that your phone has, that the front one has, this little one here has. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, for another instance, uh, narrow table here, which is nice. Yeah, so you got two narrow tables um, that you can use for din dinner, for working, laptop. Mm -hmm. So, this is being that this is a smart TV, Hank, you can also have a computer here and use this as a second monitor. Yeah. So for people that do work from the RV, That's, this, this can be the second monitor. Yeah. That's what I do with my podcast. So last night I was podcasting out of my Beyond. Yeah. And I used the screen over here as my monitor. I could see, you know, different stuff from what's on my laptop. This window opened. This window does open. Um, so you unlock it there and you just slide it back somehow. You gotta push it strong. Use your muscles, Grandpa. There Sam. you go. Look at that. There <laughs> is that. Yeah. So that is cool, though. So the screen also opens as well. Yeah. So it's actually sunny outside now. So yeah. really nice. But a nice day. Like today is what? 70 degrees outside. I think, yeah. I think the, the high was like 74. Yeah. 73. That's a good day to open. Like you can open your windows over here as well, and then run. Same your thing there. Room. So what I really like this cross ventilation. So you're sleeping here mm -hmm. in the king size bed. You do have cross ventilation from window to window mm -hmm. and with the max air vent so you have it all kind of hooked up in the same yeah. area and, and when you're just chilling i mean look how big this window is it's like the That's whole huge. i mean this is the whole side yeah of the and it's van. not it's not just a little part of it that opens down here which some thing. vans have yes yeah, this whole this whole thing and this whole That's thing cool. yeah. yeah lots of fresh light lots yeah. of light in the air from the front the back yeah. the sides everything uh, i love it um do you want to talk about this uh, yeah so this AC is a truma unit? a venti so Somebody walked in the other day and gave me a compliment, Hank. Uh-oh. You know what they said? How crazy was this person? They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't mention how strikingly handsome I was. What they mentioned was that they like that I'm standing in the RV, mm -hmm. I give my height of six foot tall, and then I show how much room there is. So mm -hmm. if they're 6'2", it's probably there. If they're 6'4", their head will probably rub. Right. So yeah. the compliment was, thank you for standing in the RV. It made me understand that I could fit in one of these. Oh, okay, yeah. You're a good uh, comparison. So, yeah. six foot tall, lots of space. This is the brand new Truma Aventa. Amazing Air AC, conditioner. Nick. I love this AC. I think you this need one. Great. I think it's Coachman's yeah. official representative. But, but right now, this thing is like freezing me. <laughs> yes, it's cold. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome. what's, what's really cool about it, a few things. One, uh -huh. it's low profile. So other ACs stick down a little more. They take up headspace here. Uh, this one's very thin. On the roof, it is also a lower profile, so it, it's not as high. So if you're trying to get into smaller clearance places, you can do that. Um, it's also extremely quiet. Yeah, and very extremely. efficient. Efficient and, for a 110. And for a 110, it is just as efficient as the uh, previous 12 volt air conditioners that they use. So, yeah. all positive, nothing negative. Yeah. Great. If, if anyone wonders like why I love these so much and I don't, I don't, I do not have one. But when we do the shows, so like we did Ocala and we did Tampa before that, you guys were running these things with the doors open. Hold on. <laughs> and it was just as cold. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is amazing. We gotta get you one. Of these. <laughs> why don't you have yeah. one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll work. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. See, you know, I, I'm just trying to hook you up, point. Nick. That's my job. I'm trying to hook I, you I up. I appreciate it, Nick. This is why. This is why I do love you, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Little yeah. Bit. You know. But yeah, this is an amazing yeah. AC. So, and I'm glad to see that in the van world, right? ACs are getting better. Not yeah. just this. A lot of the companies so, out there are working on these ACs and making them a lot better. So I will tell you about Coachman. You know, it's like you want to trust the dealership you're buying from. You want to trust the brand you're buying from. Mm -hmm. And you want to trust the chassis you're buying your RV on. Mm -hmm. So those are three real important things, right? The brand you're buying from had, went on like a, a very, very long, extensive search to mm -hmm. find the best 
air conditioner for a class B van. Mm -hmm. And and the guys at Coachman, they're engineers or higher ups, they found this Truma and, and they locked it up. No one else was allowed to use it for the first year. They were they had the exclusive because they gave their preferences what they wanted, how they wanted it, and to make sure that they had the best rooftop air conditioner on the market. Yeah, and we, we did go through a moment there where there was some issues. There was a ACs, lot of issues with a lot of like different, that. well, so anytime there's innovation, you're gonna have issues. Yeah. Anytime you have something new, new technology, you're gonna have issues yeah. in the beginning. And, it and, took them, and, and But they addressed it because this is a big part of your van, right? Yep, yep. Especially, well, I guess if you're out west in cooler climates, mm -hmm. you don't care, or they don't even have them. Here in Florida, yeah. this is big everything. Deal. I don't care about anything except the air conditioner. Yes. And every RV. I, yeah. I, uh, I drove me and my, my two sons down to a, a uh, Miami Dolphins football game one time, and the AC was so stinking loud in the back, we couldn't even watch the TV. Wow. Like they were just yeah. sitting, it was so hot, so you had to have the AC on high. You could not hear the Avengers movie they were watching on TV. It was wow. so <laughs> loud. But now this is quiet as yeah. can be. Great job, kudos to Truma and, and uh, the guys Coach at Coachman Man for working on that. Good Coach. job. Do you want to go outside? It looks like well, we got like so we're temporarily real no quick. Oh, we didn't, okay. oh, we didn't show the bed. Oh yeah, you're right. You're I have right. to live okay. up to my compliment. Right. Okay. Of showing, showing all the things. All the things. So, yeah. nice big flat bed, like right, I said. You just want to show off your legs, which are healing. Exactly. For anyone who cares. I know, right? <laughs> my, my, my skiing blisters. Yeah. So, six foot tall, lots uh -huh. of space. Here, lots Let's of see space. If I can get the whole thing for everyone. There you go. <laughs> so, very cool. Yeah, and I, I feel the AC right on yeah. me. We are knuckleheads. People, there's people who comment on that all the time. You guys are not wrong. We're, we're knuckleheads. Someone said that we were like Cheech and Chong. Yeah, <laughs> we're having fun. But yeah, this is great. This is pretty cool. So, <laughs> so for about five minutes, we'll have no rain. So very cool. Yep. Made in America. So mm -hmm. I like seeing the American flag on things. Made in America, including so the chassis. This chassis is made in Kansas. Is it really? So there you go. The Ford. The oh, Ford, you're still Ford has been manufactured at Ford's Kansas City Assembly Plant in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey. Oh, look at that. Home of the Chiefs and so, the Transits. Yes. So well, that's awesome. Yeah. Really cool. I think this is pretty neat here. Uh, you have a door. Um, code you put code, in yeah lock and unlock yep. opens and shuts the door yep and it can open that side too the other side yep you so right uh -huh. this is your sewer connection here black tank gray tank okay so here on this van you would have one right just in the middle because yes. there's no like with a rare bath you'd have some stuff you in have the two back of them, too right yeah so, so because the toilet is right there yeah and that's your only black tank yeah. and your gray so tank is here. there as well I'll give you guys a look underneath here so you can see there you go Here's what you got right there, and um, that's cool. A little look under underneath the van. Although the batteries are inside, right? On batteries. Are, yeah, we're yeah. gonna show that in a second. Okay. Um, so this is a spray port. So there's a little mm -hmm. handheld hose that you hook right up to it, and you can clean your feet, you clean your hose, mm -hmm. or your uh, waste hose, you, you can clean. I like how they put it right next to where you dump, so you can clean everything. You can wash everything down. And I said, it's the best instruction manual on, on how to dump your RV is uh, Robin Williams in the movie RV. Right, he, I'm pretty sure I have a video that tells you how to dump. Oh, well, Hank, and it's, Strange, and Robin yeah. Williams. I mean, kinda. Yeah. I've gone through the Robin Williams experience, and it's not fun. So you want to do this and do this right, but it is nice to take that hose out when and you're dumping, clean plug whatever. it up, yeah, wash down everything while you're doing it. Yeah. And even when you put stuff back, you want to wash them off just to make it easier wash to connect. everything before yeah. and after and during and yes. all that. <laughs> I carry a hazmat suit with me. I just put the whole hazmat suit on. I do all the yeah. stuff. That's probably everyone's least favorite. <laughs> Um, so you can extend the solar, so if uh -huh. you want to add solar, you can right. plug it in and you can have a whole solar farm mm -hmm. if you like. Yep. Um, so smart plug, I know I talk about this all the time, but mm -hmm. the smart plug is is a clutch, I feel like. Mm -hmm. uh, when you put it in, it does lock in place, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a light that shows you that it's actually hooked up. You know, this is, this is one time when I always give a shameless plug. Shameless uh -huh. plug. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Right. Okay. Shameless plug for for. When Boy, you, you're gonna go over so well at that Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> the dad jokes. The 
when you buy an RV from Sunshine State RVs, we teach you how to use the whole thing. We spend mm -hmm. as much time with you as you need. Mm -hmm. And Corey, who does most of our walkthroughs, mm -hmm. tells you how important it is when you plug it in to actually plug it in and, and have it connected, not have it loose. Because yeah. that's where things arc and you cause fires and issues and you short things out and it's just really bad. So we, we teach you how to use it. Then we put you up at a local campground for two nights, mm -hmm. so that way you can test everything in the coach, go through it. If you have any issues, you just come right back and we take care of it, adjust it, tweak it, fix it immediately. Yeah. You're immediately. not just saying that, I see people taking you guys up on that all the oh, time. Oh, we have, it's yeah. funny, the other night we had three vans all parked right next to each other at all coachmen. So really? it was like a Nova, nice. a Beyond, and a Galleria. What? And they Where's were the all, pictures? I know, right? I was like, y'all didn't yeah. take a picture? But they were all camping oh, cool. after cool. buying an RV from us, yeah. all camping right next to each that's other. That's so sweet. Pretty yeah. neat. Pretty Congratulations neat. to those guys. Yeah, um, um, so here's your So here's, here's uh, Let's close this, how to but... fill and how to flush. Yeah. How to hook up and cable TV. Yep. Yep. Yeah. If you're a soap opera fan. This is your, so that's your black tank flush, water connection. If you're gonna be staying, and then your fresh water if you're just loading up yep. your so water. And then I think you showed the, but the, here's the LP. As we fill the propane underneath. tank. And then this is where you can keep your hoses, etc. cetera. Here, um, let's see. And I do see some stuff down here. I'm guessing that's like some of your equipment. No, no, that's your black tank down there. Yep. Okay, but, cool. And that's why there's, yeah. That's why there's tank heaters because because oh, this okay, is a lithium right, model, it. they move the tanks outside the coach. Okay. So this is the all-wheel drive like we talked about, and this is the EcoBoost, the Ford Transit. It's probably gets you to what 18 miles a gallon or so. Um, depends on. So here's what I would say. I think if you're so because it's a twin turbo, you're supposed to use premium. If you don't use premium, your gas mileage won't be as good. If you want to get better gas mileage, use premium. Don't drive as fast as I do. Very powerful. This is uh, over 300 horsepower, I think like 310, and the uh, torque is 400. So this is like the best. The Sprinter and the uh, Promaster van are not as powerful as the Transit. So in my opinion, that's awesome. So, I love it. So really cool yeah. here. So this is where the lithium battery currently is. Mm -hmm. um, we can fit another lithium battery in here. Oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, this one, we, you can see so, it going sideways, yep. the red that you guys we'll see. We scoot it over and we will put another one right here. Yeah. Um, what is this thing? That's just access to it. Oh, a little, little pass through so you can see. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's kind of new. That is kind of new. Little piece of plastic. I like that. I haven't seen that before. So this yeah. is the shades. Um, you know, it's funny, the other day someone decided they didn't need these seat belts, so they took uh -huh. all the seat belts out and this bar. Oh, yeah. And so it just gave them some more storage right yeah. here. They just unhooked this bar and just took oh, it out, cool. took all the seat belts out and said, I don't yeah. need it. Okay. And so it just gave them some more storage space. Yeah. But I like the flooring back here as well. This is very durable. Yeah. It's like that, like a rubber grip mat uh, floor. Um, oh, and I didn't talk about insulation much. So these rear doors mm -hmm. have ABS insulation in them. Oh, that's um, cool. It also has speakers in it, but the mm -hmm. whole coach has um, insulation too. So it has the the hush mat, mm -hmm. um, cozy wrap, has rock wool, so lots, uh, lots of good insulation in the coach that they they go a, like a, a step above and beyond everybody else when it comes to insulation. Yeah. And the to where you can, you know, when it's hot out, it keeps it, the cold air in, and when it's cold out, yeah. <laughs> And, we, and it's drizzling again. You've got some it storage is. pockets up here that you can keep some oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, in a shade. Let me show this yeah. real quick. Show the shade. And, you know, we uh, we see people all the time who, like you were saying, with the, they take out the seat belts that just make that a permanent bed. Drop it down, make it permanent. Permanent bed, yep. And they'll set it, yep. like you said. But that's also another improvement, I think, and a lot better right there. So pretty good. Um, you've got an awning, right? How many people do Power, you, power uh, awning with LED lights. Yep. you got a plug here. You mm -hmm. can plug in under it. So if you want to power something, everything's there and yep. there. And I'm getting wet. Really nice. <laughs> Where are you going? We're going to go inside to finish this video. <laughs> okay, we're going inside. <laughs> Man, you know. <laughs> Hold I'm, on. I'm so sweet. I'm going to melt. I'm going to yeah. melt in the rain. Uh, a Florida thing that we always say is happening right now in this video. Yes. Like, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. And it'll change. It'll change. <laughs> So it rained on us. We got about five minutes. Well, it's funny though. It's the middle outside. of April. It's like <laughs> seventy degrees outside, yeah, which it's, never ever happens. Yeah, it's very nice. I it like is. it. Yeah, I like this it weather. Is. Yeah, this is really cool. I, you know, I have a Beyond, 
And I, I'm really a fan of that Beyond, man. Those yeah. uh, 45,000 miles that we've done, uh, we've had some adventures. That's it's two lot. years. I mean, you guys are, are. I mean, you guys use it. You know, yeah. so many people buy these things from yeah. us, and they just never end up using them, which is very heartbreaking and <laughs> yeah. sad because they're made to be used. Mm -hmm. But then every once in a while, you hear a story about people putting forty thousand miles on in almost yeah. two years, and you're like, "Man, I'm so thankful that you are actually using it." Or it's yeah. made to. to oh, it's use been it. great. So yeah, that's. I cool. love it. Yeah, it's probably. I would say, of all the vehicles I've bought so far. It's the one vehicle that I really do not want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. It's very, very useful to yeah. me. That's cool. So, yeah. And it brings you lots of joy, lots mm -hmm. of you know traveling, lots of memories. Mm -hmm. You know, every every scar on it, I'm sure right. you have a story for. All the upgrades. All of the upgrades. Like for some yeah. reason you have an axe and a yep. fuel tank. Yep. Hey, when are you ever going to use an axe on the you back? You might have to chop something oh, that a, a tree might fall down in oh, your yeah. way. You got to chop. I want to see a video of you, you chopping need, using you need some an firewood axe to chop something. Uh, you're going to probably see a video of me using. I'm going to get one of those electric. Uh, j uh, what is it called? The saws. Um, like an electric bike? No, the electric saw that uh, everyone uses. What is that called? Not a jigsaw, but you know what I'm talking about. Like a buzz saw? Yeah. What are, What are those things called? I, I can't believe I'm forgetting. Yeah. yeah, a chainsaw. Chainsaw. <laughs> That's how much axe. I don't know about it. You don't yeah. need an axe, a, you need a chainsaw. The axe is really there to look good. Exactly. That's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> a, I wanted you to <laughs> say, I have the <laughs> axe there so I can look If tall. I don't get that chainsaw, I'm going to have to use that axe. Can't use it on that. And there's a shovel, too. It becomes a shovel. Now. So at Sunshine State RVs, yeah. let's, let's stick to the point here. Right. <laughs> Free delivery uh -huh. anywhere in the country. We right. sell these things all over the place. We mm -hmm. fly people in every day. Um, you know, we have Galleria's, we have Nova's, mm -hmm. we have Beyond's. This, this Beyond is available for sale today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today. It's here for sale. Today. 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 Might not be here tomorrow. Right. <laughs> there were some people. It won't. It Danny won't and Marianne were looking at yes. it earlier today. Yes. And, and we met Kim. All, Kim, all people who Kim look at the channel. From Boca. Kim came in. She's awesome. Kim from you know, Boca. Who knows She's what retired. she bought? Who knows? I haven't even been to shop in two hours. Yeah, we've got to go back and she find out. She may have bought something. Yeah, so, it's, it's cool to meet people, right? It is. That, uh, it look, is. At, that look at us. They watch our videos. And don't think we're idiots. They don't look at them. When you look at them, you they glance at and then you move. When yeah. you watch, you yeah, watch. they're looking. No, no you're they watching. They see us. Yeah. They both use eyeballs. Thank you for watching yeah. the channel today, guys. <laughs> You're wrapping it up? <laughs> yes. Yes. If you're interested in this or anything else, check out Sunshine State RV, of course. We're brand ambassadors for them because we think they're awesome. And, you know, I think that a Coachman, either a Nova, a Beyond, or a Galleria is a good idea if you're getting into Class B. I agree. I think you'll be in good hands. So, good? I can say that with complete conviction. Yes. I agree. Yes, absolutely. All right, Nick, I'll let you end it since you started it. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Like it, subscribe it, notify. Mm -hmm. some, there's a bell that you press so you know. Uh, you get uh, dings, ding, ding, right. whenever people watch it. Right. And this is Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. Thanks for watching. Oh!